What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning back. So, I just got to my Uncle Tom's house. It was a good drive this morning. A little humid, but at least the sun's up. And today we have a big build on his S14 Zanke. So, are you guys ready to check this out? Let's go. Can't forget my camera gears. Also, my trusty GoPro. Woo, look at that. It's hot out here. Oh boy, look at that. Look at that. Already got everything out by himself. I came a little late, but. Here's the KA24DE. Full 5 speed. Here goes the new heart for the S14. Take a look at that. So this is S14 SR20, does have an upgraded turbo manifold with the original Garrett T28. Look at that, already got the turbo elbow ready for the 3 inch downpipe. Strapping the motor up because we're about to drop this bad boy in. So strapping on this bracket right here, over here, right around the turbo manifold. Going up. So the engine lift is a little short. We're adjusting the strap so we can have more leverage to push it into the motor mounts. Do your turbo noise. <laughs> He's just smiling. What? Well, listen to your turbo noise. Jigga says it. Jigga boom boom. So my GoPro memory is actually full right now so Got to download all these into my laptop, and then we'll get the camera rolling again. Oh yeah, we just got this side, driver's side motor mounts, and and we're gonna be working on the passenger side. We got it. So the S14 SR20 is in, and here should be the easy part. So we're just gonna plug and play everything else. Dry shaft is in. Every turbo car needs a fat three inch downpipe. Downpipe going in. This 
super clean it here. Already got that boost gauge ready. That's the rising no knife. <laughs> Cut it a little too short. Cut a little too short, but lucky we got some new hoses right here. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, damn, that looks pretty clean. Look at that. So this was supposed to be the replacement for this, but it fits perfectly on the power steering pump to the reservoir. Okay, so we got transmission mount in, dry shaft is in, motor mounts all tied up, slave cylinders hooked up already, power steering to the power steering pump, all that's done, and then we're waiting next week for the aluminum radiator, the big front mount intercooler, and a little bit on the wire harness, and then we should be good to crank it up, take it for a drive. So that's it for today for this. We got more parts coming and then we'll continue this on another day. Okay guys, thank you for watching the video. So if you guys have any question or anything, put it down in the comment. We'd be more than happy to answer it. So time to get into my S14 and go back home, rest up, wash up. Cause today is July 4th, so gotta go do some barbecue.